Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace the 3D model of your weapon. There's two ways to create a weapon. The first one is to go to Invector, Shooter, Create Shooter Weapon. Drag and drop your weapon prefab and hit Create. This weapon is obviously out of scale comparing to the ones we already have. So it will be a smart idea to compare those models before creating a new weapon. Let's just manually resize to something like 02 right now. We have a series of game objects like particles, muzzle, audio source and others, but you will need to manually adjust all of that into your new weapon. So instead of doing that, let's pick one of our prefabs that matches the kind of weapon that I want to create. For example, in this case, we are creating a rifle, so we already have a similar weapon in this project. Let's drop our new model inside the assault rifle prefab and resize to match the trigger of the weapon. This way, we will align the triggers and it will make our job much easier. Once you align the new weapon, take all the content inside the render object and put inside our new model. Delete the current render object and rename our new weapon to render. Let's remove this component since we don't have a scope attached into this weapon. We have a lot of options so you can create different types of weapons, automatically or not, frequency of shots, the ID to match the correct animation, options for IK and more. We can also create different types of bullets for example, use another trail render, or do a specific type of damage into a specific tag. Now, going back to our weapon, we also have the option of how many projectiles it will shot, the dispersion of these projectiles, the velocity, minimax damage, audio effect for shot, empty clip, and reload. We would also add custom events so you can call a method trigger an animation and sound effect, enable or disable an object. Anyway, there is lots of good use to do with events. Cool, now that we create our weapon, let's make a prefab and add into our inventory. You can create a new item or in this case, duplicate from the previous one. It will make your job faster. Assign our new prefab and let's create a collectible by just using the assault rifle collectible change the name and the item inside. You can also change the model inside to match your new weapon. Now hit play and you will see that our new weapon is almost perfectly aligned because we use almost the same position of the assault rifle which was already positioned correctly. You can also create an offset IK if your character doesn't match the animation perfectly you can adjust to better fit your character. And you can change the scope view to simulate, for example, a first person view. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's just make a small adjust on the left IK and this weapon is good to go. That's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something new and thanks for all your support over this last year. Because thanks to your support, we can continue to work on this asset by expanding and making the best it can be. So thanks, see you next time.